Good day everyone. Today, we dive into an essential aspect of sustainable business practices, the key performance indicators, or KPIs, for environmental, health, and safety within the broader framework of environmental, social, and governance ESG. In our journey towards sustainability and corporate responsibility, EHS KPIs serve as our compass. These indicators are not just metrics they are reflections of our commitment to environmental stewardship, the well-being and safety of our employees, and our dedication to ethical governance. We'll explore how environmental indicators like carbon footprint and energy efficiency are pivotal in reducing our ecological impact. We'll see the critical role of health and safety measures, such as accident frequency rates and employee training, in fostering a safe workplace. Governance indicators will guide us in maintaining compliance and ethical practices, while social indicators remind us of our responsibility towards community engagement and employee satisfaction. As we delve into these KPIs, remember, each number tells a story of our impact and progress. Our goal is not just to meet standards, but to set new benchmarks for sustainability and safety in our industry. Environmental, health, and safety initiatives within the broader framework of environmental, social, and governance focusing specifically on environmental indicators. These indicators are not just metrics they are vital signs of our planet's health and our responsibility towards it. Firstly, let's discuss our carbon footprint. This measure of greenhouse gas emissions is more than just a number. It reflects the impact of our operations on global climate change. By understanding and reducing our carbon footprint, we're taking concrete steps towards combating one of the most pressing issues of our time. It's about making smarter choices in our processes, utilizing renewable energy, and continuously seeking innovative ways to reduce emissions. Moving on to energy efficiency. This isn't just about reducing energy consumption, it's about maximizing productivity with minimal environmental impact. It involves assessing our operations and finding ways to be more energy efficient. Whether it's upgrading to energy saving equipment or optimizing our processes, every step towards energy efficiency is a stride towards a more sustainable future. Now, let's talk about waste management. This is where we track our waste reduction and recycling rates and ensure proper disposal. Effective waste management is essential not just for environmental compliance, but for setting a standard in our industry. It's about minimizing waste generation, maximizing recycling efforts, and responsibly disposing of what we cannot reuse. It's a holistic approach that encompasses the entire life cycle of our products and services. Lastly, water usage. Water is a precious resource, and monitoring our consumption is critical. But it's more than just about usage, it's about conservation. We're dedicated to implementing practices that reduce our water footprint, whether it's through water-saving technologies or sustainable water management practices. In closing, these environmental indicators are more than just parts of a compliance checklist. They are a reflection of our commitment to a sustainable future. Every effort we make in these areas brings us closer to a world where business and the environment can thrive together. Let's continue to work towards this goal with unwavering dedication and innovative spirit. Health and safety indicators. These are not mere statistics they are a testament to our commitment to the well-being and safety of our workforce. Let's start with the accident frequency rate. This indicator tracks the number of accidents per working hours. It's a direct measure of our workplace's safety environment. Every incident recorded is a learning opportunity, a chance to improve our protocols and prevent future occurrences. A lower rate here reflects a safer, more vigilant workplace, and it's a goal we continuously strive to achieve. Next is the lost time injury frequency rate, these measures work related injuries resulting in absenteeism. It's a crucial metric that tells us about the severity of accidents and their impact on our team's productivity and morale. Our objective is to minimize this rate, 
ensuring a safe working environment where every employee can perform their duties without the risk of injury. Another vital indicator is near misses. These are incidents that, while not resulting in injury or damage, had the potential to do so. Tracking near misses is as important as recording actual accidents. It helps us identify and mitigate risks proactively, ensuring that potential hazards are addressed before they can cause harm. We also closely monitor the occupational illness rate. This involves keeping track of work-related illnesses, a responsibility we take very seriously. It's about creating a healthy workplace where employees are not just safe from physical harm, but also from conditions that could affect their long-term health. Finally, employee training, and engagement. This measures not just the hours spent in training but the quality of that training and the level of employee involvement in our EHS initiatives. It's about empowering our team with the knowledge and skills to identify and react to safety and health risks, fostering a culture where safety is everyone's responsibility. Governance Indicators These indicators are pivotal, as they underscore our commitment to ethical and responsible governance in line with our EHS goals. Let's begin with compliance with regulations. This is where we measure our adherence to environmental, health, and safety laws. It's more than just following rules it's about understanding the spirit behind these regulations protecting our environment, ensuring the health and safety of our employees, and conducting our business ethically. Our compliance record is a clear reflection of our dedication to these principles. Next, we have audits and inspections. The frequency and results of these EHS audits offer insight into how effectively we are managing our risks and responsibilities. These audits aren't just checklists they are opportunities to scrutinize our processes, identify areas for improvement, and implement best practices. A robust audit program is a cornerstone of good governance, ensuring that we not only meet but exceed industry standards. Lastly, investment in EHS technologies. This is a tangible indicator of our commitment. It represents the funds we allocate towards safety and environmental management systems. Investing in cutting-edge technology isn't an expense it's an investment in our future a future where safety and sustainability are integrated into every aspect of our operations. By leveraging technology, we aim to be proactive rather than reactive, setting new benchmarks in EHS management. In conclusion, these governance indicators are crucial. They don't just guide us they define us. They are a measure of our integrity and our resolve to be leaders in responsible business practices. As we move forward, let these indicators be a beacon, guiding us towards a future where good governance is not just practiced, but embodied in everything we do. Social indicators. These indicators are crucial, as they reflect our organization's impact on society and our workforce. Let's start with community engagement. This is about assessing the impact of our operations on local communities. It's not just about being a good corporate citizen it's about being a part of the community fabric. Through active engagement be it through local projects, partnerships or sustainability initiatives we strive to contribute positively to the communities where we operate. Our goal is to ensure that our presence is not only beneficial for our business but also for the people and the environment that surround us. Moving on to employee satisfaction and retention. This is a measure that goes beyond mere numbers. It gauges the heartbeat of our organization our employees. Employee satisfaction is directly linked to our health and safety practices. It's about creating a workplace where employees feel valued, safe, and motivated. High satisfaction and retention rates signify a healthy workplace culture, one where employees are engaged and invested in our shared goals. It also reflects our commitment to their well-being and professional growth. These social indicators are essential because they help us understand our role in society and the lives of our employees. They guide us in building stronger, more meaningful connections with our communities and creating a supportive, 
inclusive environment for our team. In conclusion, as we look at these social indicators, let's remember that they represent real people and real communities. They are not just metrics to be achieved, but stories to be told, lessons to be learned, and relationships to be cherished. As we move forward, let these indicators inspire us to create a positive impact, both within our organization and beyond its walls. In this brief moment, I want to highlight a critical aspect of our journey towards sustainable development, sustainability reporting, specifically focusing on transparency and disclosure. Transparency is not just a buzzword in our organization it is the cornerstone of our sustainability efforts. It is about being open and clear about our actions, our impacts, and our progress. By regularly and honestly disclosing our sustainability practices and outcomes, we build trust. Trust with our stakeholders, our clients, our employees, and the communities we operate in. This reporting is not just a statutory obligation it is a moral one. It's about showing accountability for our actions and their impact on the environment and society. Quality reporting means providing accurate, relevant, and timely information. It's about going beyond the numbers to tell the story of our sustainability journey the challenges we face, the milestones we achieve, and the lessons we learn. In essence, our commitment to transparency and disclosure in sustainability reporting is a commitment to integrity and continuous improvement. It reflects our dedication to not just meet, but exceed, the expectations of our stakeholders and to lead by example in our industry. Ladies and gentlemen, as we conclude our session today, let's reflect on the journey through the key performance indicators for EHS in the context of ESG. These KPIs are not mere metrics they are a reflection of our collective commitment to a sustainable future, the well-being of our workforce, and the integrity of our governance. Environmental indicators remind us of our duty to the planet, health and safety indicators emphasize the importance of our most valuable asset our people, governance indicators highlight our adherence to ethical practices, and social indicators reflect our impact on communities and employee welfare. All these, underpinned by transparent and robust sustainability reporting, form the backbone of our responsible business practices. Let us leave here today with a renewed sense of purpose and a clear vision. Our commitment to these KPIs is a commitment to making a meaningful difference, to setting new standards in sustainability, safety, and corporate responsibility. Together, let's move forward, not just as businesses, but as stewards of a better world. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, and fellow digital explorers, I stand before you with a humble request. Our YouTube channel is a connection of stories, ideas, and discoveries. And your subscription is the thread that weaves our community together. Each click of subscribe sparks a connection, ignites curiosity, and propels us toward a future crafted by knowledge and unity. It's more than just a channel it's a journey we embark on together. So, I invite you join us. Subscribe us, and let's turn the pages of this digital journey side by side. Your support is the foundation of our shared adventure. Thank you.